Kaio Kenpa! Defeating a sandwich only makes it tastier. That's what you get for acting to Mickey, Virginia. <laughs> What is up, everyone, and thank you for joining us once again on the D-Star Zero One channel. I'm your host, Dexter Miraculous, and I have a co-host with me. You know who she is. Say hello. Hello. It is Janelle, and today we'll be unboxing the real deal. 100% real deal! SH gentle. figure arts. Kaio Ken Goku. I'm not gentle on the table. That's because everyone has to know that if you jump on the Discord, you can go to the fan art section. We have a fan art contest, and we'll be giving away a Jucky Chun. And the theme is slamming a figure on the table just like that. So go ahead, go down to the Discord down in the description down below and enter that fan art contest. Let's get some formalities out of the way. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, and also hit the notification bell so you're always in the know when we have new videos. And last but not least, this guy is sold out, but we are getting more, and you can get him where, Janelle? That's right, you can get this at www.dstartoys.com, your reliable source for awesome action figures. We are doing this live on twitch.tv forward slash dstar01. And of course, we do giveaways and whatnot. Enough of me talking. Take us to the top cam, Janelle. Let's open this guy up. I'm pretty psyched about this. This is a figure I've been waiting for for a very long time. Of course, I have the um, the anniversary version, I believe, the Tamashii Nations uh, tour version. I got this a long, long time ago. Uh, it got it in a trade from one of my first subscribers. Remember Toy Man? Remember that guy, Janelle? Oh yeah. Yeah, he was always like posting comments on our videos. That was pretty Toy cool. Man. Yeah, that I haven't seen him in a long time. So, anyway, yeah, those were back in the days when we were hitting only like 500 subs. I'm pretty psyched about this one. Janelle takes us to the front cam. Let's look at this guy. So, what a lot of people have been saying down in the comments down below and in chat, a lot of people are saying he's too red. Janelle, tell me, do you as I take out this plastic, what do you think? Do you think he's too red? I think he's fine. I don't think he's too red. Wow, he I honestly think with this color scheme, he reminds me of those older ladies in that special group that were nothing but like purple and red. Oh, okay. I'm trying to remember why they were purple and red, but it's cute. <laughs> yeah, it's nice. I, I like this color scheme. I think him. it's pretty nice. I'm going to be honest with you, as his kneecap falls off. Don't worry, that comes right I'm trying on... Is he glittery? Yes, yeah, so let's talk oh, about that. It's not really shiny. Let's glittery. talk about that. This is something that I, I... That's what I thought he was going to look like. Yes, you do have a, like, glitterly... Gl <laughs> glitter... Glittery, like, look to it. It has a really nice, almost metallic purple-like sheen throughout. So whenever the light hits it, you're going to get this mixture of the red of the gi or the orange of the gi mixed in with some sort of purple. And this is the effect you get. And I... I think this looks so cool i absolutely love this and it even goes out through the hair you can see it in his gi you can see it in the blue shirt which ha ends up being purple and this is exactly what i want out of a kaioken figure right you get something that looks like he's charging up really hard and you get a really really cool effect just look at that look at him charging up that looks fantastic of course we got to get more of a kaioken like look so he usually goes in a I'm about to poop squat right here. And there you have it. And then he goes, Kaioken times 10. And that's that's really cool. I really like that. Uh, so to me, I know there's a lot of people out there saying, oh, no, we don't like that effect. Personally, I love this effect. It looks really, really nice, especially for a figure in this price point. We were selling this for $32.99 for a Goku figure. It looks absolutely amazing. And there's a reason why this cost is actually quite small. Let's talk about that really quick. For one, the accessories. You only get four different hands and two different faces. You don't get that assortment of hands, which usually comes with a Goku figure, especially the stock Goku figure version one. Came with a bunch of hands, came with a Kamehameha ball, all kinds of stuff. You don't get the back effect piece, which is the red part, like the red charge up effect piece. You don't get that. You have to buy that separately. So if you want to get that as like a complete set, you're looking at almost $50 shipped. I believe that is like 25 bucks for the effect piece. So, you know, it goes hand in hand. Um, but if you don't want the effect piece, $32.99, not a bad price considering how the effect looks. I love this metallic glittery sheen that he has really like and it just looks really real. nice. So let's look at the comparison right here, right? Look at these two figures. It's almost like this one right here doesn't even have the Kaioken effect, 
right? This is the Kaioken Goku. I got this in the Tamashi Nation Anniversary Edition. This one, this figure, I believe is upwards to $200 on eBay. Someone quote me down below in the comments on YouTube and in chat. I believe that's how much he's going for. This is the version one body as well. He doesn't have that much red sheen on the muscles and the skin tone and in the gi and whatnot, right? This one to me looks more accurate. Let me know if you all agree. I have to say so myself. Janelle, any thoughts before we move on to articulation and scale? I just really like the new take with the pearl finish. I hope they kind of do Ooh, that. Ooh, pearl finish, pearlescence. That's the word I was looking for. It has a pearlescence type feel and look. You like it, right? It's refreshing. Yeah, it's really nice. I like it. I like it. Uh, let's go on in the comments. Looks like the Sani official says this figure has struck me more as a Kaioken X20. Yeah, I agree. Goku has ever since it was revealed and the coloring of the geese just reminds me a lot more of a stronger Kaioken form. Yeah, I agree with that one. Um, I think what we're going to do later, I think we really need to, to put the Super Saiyan God blue head on there. I think that makes sense because, you know, he does go Kaioken when he goes Super Saiyan Blue. Let's get this Goku out. And we'll do that later. Okay, let's go over articulation and scale. Let's see how tall he's standing. We're looking at the very tippy top of the spiky hair. We're looking at six and a quarter inches. And of course, we gotta compare it with the original SH Figure Arts. And that's how they compare. Let's get some more Gokus in here. Sure, we had the giveaway UI Goku right there. If you wanna put those two together. We have version one, Ultimate Gohan. Let's see how that else. Version 1, Super Saiyan uh, from Resurrection F, Goku. Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan. Uh, we have the Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan uh, SH Figure Arts. And we got Virginia here. Virginia! And uh, this is the real deal, Vegeta. Um, Super Saiyan Saga. Or Sa Pff, Saiyan Saga, not Super. He's not Super Saiyan yet. Saiyan Saga Vegeta. That looks really nice. Let's get some Dragon Stars in here. Sure, my favorite Dragon Stars is Cooler right here. Ooh, look at that. That looks like it works really well. Last but not least, you always got to compare it with a very popular line. This is the Marvel Legends worthy Captain America. And so that is it when you compare it to scale. Let's go over articulation. We're looking at a standard version 2 fighting body type. So we have the, the triple joints here at the at the thigh. We got up and down here at the toe. We got a ball joint here at the wrist. We got that beautiful double jointed knee. Now note that this cap does seem like it comes off really easy. So you might want to get your super glue ready and pop that right back in. Uh, we had that triple knee. So we have really sturdy kicks, which is what that was designed for. We have two joints here at the midsection. We have that butterfly joint here at the shoulder. Bicep swivel right there. We have a double jointed elbow right there. Ball joint here at the wrist and two at the neck. We're gonna be well above 20 points of articulation. Let's go, let's do some poses right here. We got the Kaioken pose right here. He's charging up really, really hard. And now we got the break dance pose right here. Let's do a handstand right there to finish it off. We got the side kick, we got the front kick. We got a flying knee. We got the shore you can test here. Let's get the shore you can test going. By the way, the joints on this thing is really tight. Uh, well, not super tight. It's actually really good. The QC on this is really nice. We got a Shore Yukon right there, and there he is. He's charging at Vegeta. You can't beat me, Kakarot. <laughs> and that's what happens. And then we he turns into a giant monkey, which we are getting the giant monkey, uh, Vegeta. Janelle, <laughs> uh, he's gonna be huge. How I think gonna he's gonna cost like 160, 170. Oh, he's a nice. big figure. We're looking at uh, what is it, two feet, almost. That'll be pretty it's going to be really cool. Something like that. It's a really big figure, so we're going to see how that com compares to next month. But yeah, so here we have it. Uh, super poseable. Uh, let's get some splits going right there. Sure, why not? And stuff like that. So let's move on to accessories. General takes us to the top cam. Let's see what we're looking at here. Uh, we get a regular head right here, which is like kind of like Kaioken 1 times 1. Not quite because his hair isn't going up yet. So... We, it still has that uh, pearlescent sheen on there. We get a yelling face right there. We have the uh, the four extra hands, which looks like the Kame Kame Kamehameha hands. And of course we get the, uh, the stance hands. So we don't get much, which is again, which is the reason why this figure doesn't cost like $50 because it doesn't look like we get much. Um, so yeah, let's look at the accessories. Let's pop off the head and let's see. But first off, let's look at this head. 
Wow, I have to say this is a really good Goku sculpt right there. He I like is, yeah, I really like that face. That looks really cool. Let's pop that on real quick. The head came off really nice and easy. And there we have it. Ooh, he's charged up. He's like, yeah, look at that. That looks really nice. Whoa, very cool. Very, very cool. Okay, let's change the faces out. Um, since we're not really, he doesn't really have that many accessories. So we're just gonna do a quick face swap here. That's how he looks like with the grinning face. And let's take the grinning face off. And let's see how he looks like with the yelling face. Again, that's pretty much it. I guess we'll look at the hands. And then uh, we'll look at a few hands. And that's the yelling face. Uh, we'll put the yelling face on the Kaioken times 20, I think, is what we're going to call this head or hair right here. Also, one thing, there's like practically no matte finish. I think there's some matte finish on the skin, and that's it. Because you got to have that pearlescent uh, feel and look. There you have it. That's him with the yelling face right there. And last but not least, let's get the uh, the new somewhat angry neutral face on here. And that's it. There you have it. That looks really cool. I'd have to say so myself. Uh, let's look here. Izuku says his skirt blocks forward motion. Not necessarily. I don't think it blocks forward motion at all. Uh, his sidekick is a little bit hindered. I think this is a common thing for version 2 body type Gokus. Uh, let's get a Kamehameha hand and I think we will put on the Super Saiyan, Su uh, Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan head and then we will come up with a conclusion. Janelle, tell us what you think so far. You like it? Really Worth like it? This. I, I think so. I think the only face I'm not loving is the, the gritting teeth face. Ooh, why so? <laughs> I don't know. You don't know? It mm. doesn't look dynamic enough, I no, guess. No, you it think looks... it, it could it could be better, huh? Yeah. So you're talking about this one. The rest of the faces are really good. Yeah. So there you have it. We have him doing a Kamehameha uh, against Vegeta when he's up on the rock. He's like back here and, you know. And he's going to, about Gallic Gun. Yeah, he's about to do Gallic Gun uh, versus Kamehameha. So there you have it. There was a Kamehameha hands. Last but not least, let us put on this head. Sure, why not? It looks like it works. We're going to do that. Oh, maybe not. Oh, so no, 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 no. That no. is not good. Yeah, I thought it would work. Um, it looks like you, you know what? This is probably what needs to happen. I don't think this looks as accurate as it should yeah you're gonna have to change the face it's the only way you're gonna get this to work so there you have it so you'll have a kaioken super saiyan god super saiyan blue goku right there uh, let's see if we can get more focus on that so that's how you're gonna have to do it you're gonna have to just replace the face plate someone tell me down below does he have blue eyebrows when he goes kaioken i honestly forgot i honestly forgot so anyway so let's come to a conclusion. Janelle, like you said, you like this, right? Not I bad. Really 32.99 32 at dstartoys.com. I, like the pearl finish, but I love the pearl finish as well. Not bad. Uh, we are getting more at dstartoys.com. So my take on this, my conclusion, I love it. For the price, you can't beat it. It's an excellent Goku figure. My biggest negative, though, come on, accessories. You could add a few more hands. Um, you know what? If this figure was like maybe $42.99, $44.99, and it came with the effect piece, that would have been an awesome set for the price. It needs that back effect piece, which honestly I don't have right now. Wait, yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. Oh, it's right here by my feet. Look at that. So if it came with this, right, for 10 bucks more, I think that would have completed the set and would have been a, a much better deal. I would gladly pay $10 more for an effect piece in the back like that. But, but that's just me. Let me know what you think down in the comments down below and also on twitch.tv forward slash dstar01 where we do giveaways. And I also like to interact with you guys. And I think that's it for today. Don't forget to visit our Discord down in the description down below to keep the conversation going. And last but not least, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And hit that notification bell so you're always in the know. 
when we post videos and I'll continue to chat on Twitch and I'll see you guys later. Janelle, do you have anything else to say? Nopers. Okay, <laughs> that is it. We'll see you guys next time. Peace.